Hi. I recently made a short animation on Procreate, and here's an overview of how I did it. This is the, the book that I'm using. It's um, Let's Draw Happy People by Sashiko Umoto. It's a wonderful little book, and I'm going to be drawing this, this pirate. Why not? We'll have him tapping his boot. I don't know. All right. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw... Okay, that's too thick, and I want to do... Let's do an HB pencil. Okay. So, and I want to do black for now. Okay. So I'm going to draw like that. and I'm just copying from, from the book here. I want my pirate to have a little bit of color, so I'm going to give him a purple overcoat and some orange pants. When you enable Animation Assist, it gives you a, sort of an onion skin effect where you can see the previous frame underneath. So it's fairly easy to draw the next frame just by tracing over the, the previous frame. The only thing that I'm changing in this new frame is the toe of the right shoe, so I'm going to lift the toe a little bit. And now I'm doing one more frame, and again, I'm just tracing the previous frame, but I'm going to lift the toe even farther. So now that I have three frames, I'm going to go to settings, I'm going to ping pong them, and then set them to, I don't know, maybe eight frames a second. Let's see how that looks. So we're going to hit play. I mean, he's tapping his boot, and there's a fair bit of movement. So let's, let's go with this, and now we can come up with some music and see how it looks with the music. So I'm going to play something simple in Sunriser, and I'm going to record that into GarageBand. And the way that I'm doing that is I use audio bus. So I'm going to select audio bus. I'm going to select Sunriser as the input. I'm going to select GarageBand as the output. Sunriser is already running. GarageBand isn't running, so I'm going to go ahead and start it. And now they're connected. So the next thing that I can do is I can go to Sunriser, and in this case, I'm just gonna select a, a simple arpeggio. That's not it, so we're gonna go and, and find an arpeggio. There is one that I like here. Where is it here? Comrade. I like that, so I'm gonna go ahead and record it. So before I start recording, I want to go to settings and match the the tempo. So if I look at the tempo of this particular arpeggio, it's 103. So I need to set it to 103. Let's set it to 103. Whoops. There we go. We'll set that to the beginning and hit record. <laughs> So now if I go to GarageBand, I should have all eight bars recorded. Good. So now I want to go and add 
a, uh, a drummer. So let's go add the drummer. And um, Leah, well, let's try Leah. And we're, I'm gonna set it to, to simple and loud. And let's see how that sounds. So after checking this out for a little bit, what I decided is to use to use Maurice as a drummer because his I like his sort of sparse style. It seems to match the arpeggio the best. That sounds pretty funky, but that's all right, Ed. That'll do. So the last step is to export the songs. I want to share it as a song. High quality is fine. And now we're going to go and, in my case, I'm sharing it to my drive. Select folder, drive audio files, save here, upload, done. The thing I want to do now is to, is to export the video. And if I can remember how to export it, share, animated MP4, uh, frames per second seven, max resolution. So I'm gonna hit export. Where am I gonna send it to? Oh, there's drive. And select folder and my drive videos and save here upload and that's it now I have to um, get it all into iMovie so I'm now on my Mac and I've uh, copied the files over from Google Drive into iMovie and the only reason that I'm doing it on iMovie on the Mac instead of on the iPad is because I've been using uh, iMovie on the Mac forever, and I and I just feel comfortable doing it there. And I haven't uh, sat down and learned yet how to do it on the iPad. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to move the music down into the audio track, and that's fine. And now I'm going to move the the video, the little uh, short animation. Now you notice that it's only 0 .0, 0 0.7 seconds long, and that's because uh, Procreate just created a short animation, uh, one loop, basically three three frames forward and three frames back. So what I do now is I basically copy and then I paste it. So I'm going to just paste until until it fills the uh, or it matches the length of the audio. There it is. So that's the entire length of the audio. I always like to put a little transition, so I'm going to put a fade to black in the front there. And here is the the video, the animation. Great. And that's how I did it. Thanks for watching.